In chapter 62 of the Count of Monte Cristo, the Count's house has been transformed according to his instructions and under Bertuccio's direction. Only the garden and one first floor bedroom remain unchanged. The Count's dinner guests include Maximilian Morel, Lucien Debray, Baroness and Baron Danglar, Major Cavalcanti, <laughs> Andrea Cavalcanti, and Monsieur and Madame de Viffon, among others. Danglar is curious about the Cavalcantis. The Count tells him they're extremely wealthy, and the Major hopes his son will find a wife in Paris. Danglar is seething over his recent financial loss, and Viffon seems nervous and Bertuccio is shocked. He recognizes Madame Danglar as the pregnant woman he'd seen at the house many years ago. He's even more startled to see Vifal, alive and well, amazed to learn that he hadn't killed the man in the garden after all. Then he notices Andrea Cavalcanti and recognizes him as Benedetto, the boy he rescued from the garden and later adopted. Uh-oh. In chapter 63 of The Count of Monte Cristo, during the dinner, the Count tells his guests that the one room in the house he didn't redecorate is a bedroom that has a sinister feel. The Count shows the dark, gloomy room to them with its blood-red damask curtains, and he spins a scary tale about a murder that might have happened there. Keeping an eye on the uneasy reactions of Vifon and Madame Danglar, who know darn well what happened in that room, he leads his guests down the hidden staircase to the garden. He tells his guests to imagine a person carrying some grim burden down the staircase on a dark, stormy night, trying to hide his deed. Madame Danglar nearly faints hearing this. Outside in the garden, the Count says that he really does have a crime to report to the chief prosecutor. He takes Vifon to the spot where Bertuccio had seen the baby's casket buried. He says his gardeners, while digging at the spot, uncovered a chest containing the skeleton of a newborn child. The guests speculate about whether the baby was alive or dead when it was buried. Vifon whispers to Madame Danglar that they need to meet at his office. In chapter 64 of The Count of Monte Cristo, the guests depart. Danglar, who's been enjoying talking about business with the Marquis Cavalcanti, invites him to ride back in his carriage. As Andrea Cavalcanti's carriage pulls away from the house, a dirty beggar asks for a ride back to Paris. The beggar is, in fact, Caderousse, who has escaped from prison. He threatens to expose the young man's past as Benedetto, unless Andrea gives him 200 francs a month. Andrea, er, Benedetto, has no choice but to agree.